1969 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. And the ZL1 came from the factory with a 427 cubic inch V8 that featured an aluminum block, aluminum heads, and an aluminum intake manifold. That's enough aluminum to create plenty of cool, delicious, natural ice. Natural ice. Do you want diarrhea today? <laughs> Compression ratio was a ridiculous 12 to 1, and it was rated 430 horsepower. In actuality, it made just over 500. Torque was coming in at 450, at least according to Chevrolet, but it was more like 550. Inside, you'll find a Turbo 400 three-speed automatic transmission, but a four-speed manual was available. Out back, you'll find a heat-treated ring and pinion for added strength and a set of 410 gears. All that aluminum did save some weight, but this car still isn't quite the lightest thing you've ever seen. With driver, it's 3,660 pounds. The ZL1 was quite the rare car. There were only 69 produced, and they were expensive, if you could even find one. The base V8 Camaro started at $2,727. That automatic transmission was $225. Posi rears $41. And the mandated power front disc brakes was $64. The ZL1 package was $4,160. That gives you a grand total of $7,217. And if you adjust for inflation, that's $58,262 today. High Performance Cars Magazine tested one of these ZL1s in stock trim, and it ran 13.16 seconds at 110 miles per hour. However, Super Stock Magazine took a similar car, threw on a set of open headers and a measly 6-inch slick, and it ran 11.64 seconds at 122 miles per hour. Let's check out that competition. 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. <laughs> and this car runs like it is possessed. Stop it. Get some help. Under the hood, you'll find an absolutely beastly 6.2 liter with compression ratio of 9.5 to 1, and slapped on top is a 2.7 liter supercharger. Running 91 octane would get you 808 horsepower and 717 pound feet of torque. But if you got a little extra cash sitting around and you throw in some 100 octane, then you're up to 840 horsepower and 770 pound feet of torque. Getting all that juice to the rear end is an 8 speed automatic transmission that came from the factory with a trans brake. And out back, you'll find a set of 309 gears. That might sound slightly conservative, but with that 8 speed automatic transmission, it's a fantastic pairing. And there's no avoiding it, but the weight of this car is not so good. This thing without the driver is 4,280 pounds. So even if Margot hey. Robbie just happens to be driving today, that's 4,400 pounds hurling down the quarter mile in less than 10 seconds. And regarding that quarter mile time, Dodge stated that this car could run zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds, and that quarter mile in 9.65 seconds at 140 miles per hour. Production for the Demon was limited, but it's not as rare as you might think. There were 3,300 produced. And if you could even find one, they weren't very cheap. The MSRP was $86,090, and of course, most of them sold for quite a bit more than that. Let's see what these cars will do today. Both cars looked fantastic, but it's the Demon that takes home the win, running 10.52 seconds at 130.62 miles per hour. In the other lane, the ZL1 ran 11.84 seconds at 116.88 miles per hour. I should say that at the time of filming, it was around 88 degrees, so the cars were running a little bit slower than usual. Huge thanks to the owners for bringing out these cars. Absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip. I'll catch you guys at the next one.